Does that mean that culling could be rolled out this year? Well, I've said that it is part of the 25-year strategy, culling in areas where the disease is rife. It has been working, and we've, we've heard evidence today, and the Chief Veterinary Officer has said that he believes it has helped reduce the disease in Somerset, where we successfully hit the target this year. It is part of a comprehensive strategy, and that's very important, including cattle movement controls and vaccination in the edge areas. But I'm clear we will do whatever it takes to deal with the disease. Can, can I follow that through as well? Because we're picking up anecdotal evidence in Somerset and Gloucester, where we have seen a huge reduction in TB over the last two years. And again, when you think of the intimidation that's taking place, particularly in Gloucester, and we are still seeing that success. And again, we have areas of the country where the disease is endemic, where we have got groups of farmers who have burned up on hard boundaries and they are extremely determined to move ahead. So that determination is there with all the sort of obstacles and issues that we've faced in the last two years. So the inter determination is there from the farming industry because they see this as a comprehensive strategy and if we are going to eradicate this disease, you know, we're still killing 20 28,000 cattle in England alone. So it's having a huge effect on our ability to produce, on the financial consequences and the human misery that goes with it. We're under restriction at home, I know exactly what it feels like. So, but to see the determination within the farming community to follow through this strategy, to me, says we have to hold on to this strategy at all. It's a follow up to Ben's question, now, which is about the timing. So, I appreciate this there's unlikely to be an announcement before the election. If there was one after the election about the rollout, is it feasible that we could see coming elsewhere later this year? That's really, I think, what the questions we're, we're trying to get at. What's your view on, on the potential timetable? Uh, and Murray, if this comes with a firm commitment on that, what's your kind of aspiration uh, for the rollout? So I will repeat what I just said, which is that we do have a comprehensive strategy. It does include uh, wider areas. What we are um, clear about is that it's got to include cattle movement controls, culling where the disease is rife and vaccination and we will do whatever it takes to deal with the disease. From my point of view, I was to aspirationally, general election, government, obviously we may be waiting until the 1st of June, who knows what the outcome of our election would be if Conservatives have returned and the strategy is on the table, then I see no reason why we cannot have other areas lined up ready to go by September, October. And that enthusiasm may be slightly dampened with some of the statements over the last few weeks, but I can promise you the determination is there in other areas to progress as quickly as possible.